tea today. Surprise! No tea. Shocking. We're doing pancakes and politics, right? Blah. No, I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> okay, for real though, I actually really like the taste of batter. What's wrong? Yeah, no, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Exactly. Like, it tastes like batter. Is yeah. Like, okay, this one started really weird. We I apologize. I apologize for all of them because they. I feel just, like just the further we this. get into the season, should it's just, just gonna. The go more our personality just keeps coming out. Do you want to retry it? Are we doing that? Pour and flip our own pancakes so you can see just how master terrible. Chef, oh my gosh, master chef. So but basically, nice team. to give you the premises of this episode, our whole idea is rather than tea, it's going to be pancakes, pancakes and, and politics, politics. Mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. while that is definitely a topic we would talk about just with tea as normal, why not make a fun little name out of it? And not have pancakes. So sometimes politics make us a little angry, and you know what can you know can fix that? Pancakes. Vegan. You gotta get together. Oh, no, they're vegan. Okay, so vegan they're cakes. even. It's made with almond milk and powdered eggs or something. Uh, fake I eggs. I did not know that vegan eggs existed. So I yeah. learned something yeah. today. So there you go. That's so you know what? Get together with your opposing left wing or right wing friend yeah. and have some pancakes. Debate and then pancakes. we can all agree to disagree and come up with with a compromise because you know. Government. And you can all watch us burn our pancakes together. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Okay. I can't make you work at Denny or you work at Denny's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would do work at Denny's, so Corinna's gonna No, you're gonna be very disappointed at my pancake flipping <laughs> skills. It's fine. Okay. I expect the best and only the best. Anyways, keep going. Um, so we're gonna get it. Do you wanna start us off? <laughs> yeah. For sure. Miss little Denny's. Okay. So politics. Politics. Where do we want to start? I'd love to put out just a disclaimer and be like, I think one of the issues with politics today, you're killing it. So I think it's not sizzling. Okay, it's not supposed to sizzle. And you're so do, you, do you let your pancakes sizzle? And yeah, the yeah, it's it's nice. Nice. Oh, okay. they sizzle! They sizzle! No. I think they were supposed to sizzle! Oh, the no. debates are already <laughs> starting. Okay. Anyways. Disclaimer, I think a problem with politics today, it's supposed to bubble on top. Anyways, okay, it'll get there. I don't know, I'm it takes a while. It's fine. Anyways, disclaimer for the third time. Um, one of the things I've noticed in politics today is just that, like, especially in the Trump administration, everyone is just either so far left wing or so far right wing that we've lost the precious middle ground. And it's like, hey, you can agree with Republicans on this topic, but you can also like agree with Democrats. Mm -hmm. And then and you don't have to declare yourself independent just to be yeah. Yeah. right. Also, because it's like, you can agree with like, I can agree with some Republican standards and still like identify mostly with de de Democrat standards without being like, I'm independent, woo! You know, it's, you get, <laughs> My pancake looks stellar, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Stellar? Okay. You're but I'm gonna spill this. Like, I don't need your criticism, Miss Denny! <laughs> Anyways, Miss Denny, <laughs> I'm getting a little aggressive. That happens in of politics. Getting on with that topic, a lot of times, a lot of issues are turned into bipartisan and like partisan issues, right? Where it's like, you. See, sizzle! What I tell you? Sizzle! Anyway, turn the audio up on that sizzle. Maybe not on my screen, but on the sizzle. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I think this is just the hot part of the kernel. I think that's what's supposed to happen, and I think you're all wrong. I think Anna's getting a little angry. Okay. I also turned it up a little bit. Where but I know it. Hey, y'all have so much space. Okay, so let's start. It's about politics too, not just how, how to make pancakes. They don't have to make, make, make pancakes. That's not my fault. It's their fault. Okay, so, we're teaching you about politics while educating you about how to make pancakes. With attitude. Incorrectly, but that's fine. <laughs> um, so, Basically, talk to your home ec teams. I know at all of our schools, that we go to, that there has been issues with some partisan disagreements. So I know at my school, like, there's like this truck that has like my school has, it. has like there's always a truck at one school. There's, you know, every school has the it. one truck that parks in the hick lot and he has the MAGA flag <laughs> out the back, <laughs> and you're like, oh, 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 yeah. It's and like the thing is, you're here. And the thing is, having like bumper stickers and stuff supporting your political party. That's fine. Yeah. You know, freedom of speech. People are always like preaching on that kind of stuff, and that's fine. I but when you just licked it off my hand. But when you, anyways, <laughs> zoom in on that. Just go. Um, <laughs> cat. Anyways, um, but the thing is, when you start, I was just posting about this the other day, where when you start advertising political opinions just to be 
like annoying or just because you know, or just because you know will cause problems. Yeah. So, like people, yeah. I know when we had last year when my school had the. Um, I'm scared that it's not done. I don't want to be. It doesn't that. bubble. What are you doing? But it's thick. Anyways, we're gonna talk about politics. I and mean, this is a side <laughs> I feel story. So attacked. Okay, but the thing is, I'm like such a squirrel that I can't like not. Pick. <laughs> so blinders. It's we'll just, a no, but like okay. So at the March for Our Lives, like, or it was the walkout that my school did for Parkland last year, um, and people literally tried to sell, like, MAGA hats at the walkout. See, now that's the thing where it becomes not okay, because you're doing it purely to cause a problem, because you know that there's been, if you are aware and you're, like, taking advantage of the conflict and the classic, like, some girl that I used to know went to New York as, like, a school trip, and literally, she doesn't know much about politics and things like that, and it, she makes that known, I'm not assuming, because, like, she had posted afterwards, sorry, I didn't know that this MAGA hat had these kind of connotations, but she, like, bought a hat, ha, at, like, New York, <laughs> just, you're trying to invade my pancake space, and I really would like you to stay away. But I won't build a wall. Oh! Anyways, oh! <laughs> I was about to make a comment that you beat me to. Whoa! Anyways, <laughs> so like that's the thing where it's like you have to know the difference between it's okay to like advertise, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I am voting for this person because mm -hmm. whatever. Between the difference of I'm just trying to be obnoxious and cause problems and yeah, have like a big right. flag out of your back or like whatever, not out of your out of your car <laughs> back. Don't like put a flag in your back. That might hurt. <laughs> That'd be painful unless your doctor recommends. Why would oh. a doctor recommend a flag in your bag? Yeah. <laughs> what nerd? Color guard. I mean, I do color guard and flip the flag and hit you. Anyways. But yeah. You're straight in the yeah. Love that. But anyways, yeah. And you also have to understand the connotations oh. that go with a certain oh, political oh, <laughs> That go with a certain political party. Like, just something I've noticed recently is that like especially with the the neo-nazis oh, mm, in the past mm. few years it's like mega is becoming associated with that just because like like I'm not saying like anyone who voted for Trump is a Nazi it's like no wow! sorry Woo! that's definitely not <laughs> so it wow. it's just okay. the two are but kind of here. becoming associated <laughs> because yeah these neo-nazis did vote for Trump and it's like it's kind of like like all the evil people in Harry Potter are Slytherin, but not all Slytherins are evil, you know? Love that analogy. I love that we just threw it at Harry Potter reference. <laughs> so, it's just, it's like... We're not like, trying to alienate no. or you're pressing it down. That's like the number one rule not to do. Don't oppress. Dude, I'm not, you, but I'm not doing it. But you're oppressing the pancake. Anyways, Anna. Right now, my meds have worn off. Um, I don't know what they can say. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're really open. Oh, we're really <laughs> um, okay. I'm sorry. So basically, like with that kind of stuff, we don't want to. I know I have I have friends that do support the opposite party that I support, and that's okay. Yeah. And that's like you should have. That's people, like, like called society. Yeah, that's yeah. a huge. Part of society, like you're gonna have opposing people, and learning, especially at our age, especially I feel like it should be integrated into like middle school, primary education. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's so important just to become like aware. Not everyone's the same as you. Not everyone's gonna have the same opinions, exactly. and that's, and that's perfectly, perfectly okay. okay. Yeah. And it's like you may not agree with someone's opinion, but you have to respect it as long as their opinion doesn't disrespect a person's existence. Like, that's what yes. I go by. I'm like, there's freedom of speech and there's hate speech. Exactly. No! Oh! Yeah, okay, okay. That's the same yeah, thing. So, so you can't be like, your pancakes are burning. It's really stressing me out. Okay. Anyway. Please look her now. It's really stressing me out. Okay, so that was a good flip. Okay, well, for flex, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead so and be happy. Oh my god. Um, Anyways, we're talking. Um, but also... That was a lot. That was a lot of just weight that was put on. Do you on think it's done? Should I like deliver? No! Are you trying to mutilate your pancake? Oh my god! Politics! But also with things, with like certain beliefs, you can't. So I know like people tend, like Jimmy was talking about, how people tend to like associate certain extremists with one side, right? Yeah. Where it's like, whether it's liberal and people who are like thinking that Santa shouldn't have a gender or like things <laughs> like that, where it's like a lot of liberal people don't, that's not like what they don't, you know, it's more of difference of, oh God, 
I can't talk and play. Oh my god. Ah! No! Okay. <laughs> Someone talk. I can't do this. <laughs> so I, I agree with Hannah on that yeah. front. That like, like, you know, it's okay. To, it's totally okay to have a middle ground. You yeah. don't have to be so far left or so far right that you're like, I'm just not even gonna look at the other. I don't think it's not, it's or like, I'm just gonna use Facebook and just like bash my yeah. grandmother for her political opinions. Like, that's that's not, not okay. Just not not a, lot as a, person. a lot of people are doing that about the wall in specifics. Like, there's a lot of people who are like, it's so good, and if you don't think it's good, like that's so bad. And we're not friends anymore. And it's like, yeah, that's or even the opposite way. Like, some people are so against it, and they mm -hmm. like hate I speech think against the ones who are. <laughs> they hate speech against the ones who are for the wall. Yeah. Right. And I think there are some things to be seen in both sides because I've heard both sides of the story. Mm -hmm. Every like, argument has two sides and every argument yeah. has the viable like nothing is going to be like out you can't be like <sighs> you can't deny so I know so a lot of times in schools what they'll have you do and I really like this where they'll I know in my sophomore year we had like a debate unit where you had a debate, you could choose the topic you debated. We don't have works. This is context. So why I'm doing that? We're also messy people in, in many ways. They're kind um, of doughy. Oh my god, it's hot. They're um, kind of doughy in the middle. Maybe they were too thin. Really? A little bit. Like they're not bad. We're supposed Come to on, Danny. Sorry. Um, anyway, they, yeah, that's oppression. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So the thing is, um, what was I talking about? Okay. Is this <laughs> make a second? Do we want to move on to um? But, like voting, especially in Generation Z. I registered yeah. to vote. Yes, we yeah. are. Yes. You're the, only, you're the only 18. Okay, so I know. Adults. I, got a I know. Um, where I live, someone very close started a petition, um, and it's Bill. Let me look for a second. And while she's looking that up, I'd love to point out that. Um, go ahead, look it up. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about Ariana Grande for a second. I'm not a, like, a sh her music is like, woo, go you. I love her music. Her recent really. album is a banger. But, but um, gotta say, anyways, boss. other than our promotion for Ariana Grande, like she needs it. <laughs> on her coming, on her tour coming up, she's part of, she is partnered with, that was a close call, folks. She is partnered with voting registrations to set up voting registration at yeah, her heard of that. at her concerts while yeah. she's on tour. And so, you know her her new little song is like, You like my hair, G thanks just bought it. She has cute little stickers that are like, You like my politics, G thanks just voted <laughs> and it's like Thank you for empowering young people. Look at my tiny pancake. My tiny pancake. Okay. Um, Look at the okay. tiny pancake. So I looked it up <laughs> zoom um, and so someone from the area where I live started a petition. Um, and so it's that house bill 1063 would allow Washington State 17 year olds to vote in a primary election if they are 18 years old by the general election. And I honestly love that because, like, it allows more people to vote so that, like, we get more of an opinion. And it encourages yeah. young people to vote. Exactly. And I think I do agree with that, but what I don't, however, agree with is people saying for 16 year olds to vote. I think it's definitely important for young people to vote, but I also know that there is a certain There's, amount of knowledge yeah. that you must yeah. have and a certain amount of will you must have to and research. I mean, and, and, and we're not saying yeah. that like you can't be 16 and know a lot, because we are yeah. 16. I'm, well, I'm 17. <laughs> I don't know everything. So, anyway. like, I don't know everything, but at the same time, it's like, I, I definitely know there's some kids at my school that would I'm treat it as like a <laughs> meme. I definitely, like, there's a vast spectrum of the way 16 year olds and like younger people act it's like you know some people would definitely would take it seriously and be like okay i have a voice how am i going to use it and then other people would take would, te would, be, would treat it as a meme y'all remember in, in, no in 2016 when there was like people were voting the someone created a candidate candidate called harambe in the, in the, in the, no, there was that was a throwback. Like, nuts. Do you remember that? Yeah, like yeah. inappropriate names Love that people that. like created for campaigns just to like. Yeah. Vote. If you're using your voice for that, you're kidding, right? Like, Please don't. And the thing is, with it's such a privilege. Don't mm -hmm. post that. Okay, yeah. I just wrote a paper. For sure. I feel like that's something people have forgotten. Like what a privilege it is to vote. Do you know how like hard women, women fought? Women fought so hard. So, hard. so many people have fought so advantage. hard to vote. And even when people don't realize this, but even when women were able to vote, a lot of their husbands still didn't allow them to. And even women. Oh. Yes, that was a very common thing. Very very common. That's and the thing is, 
that or the women themselves like didn't want to vote because they thought they would have enough influence on their husband. Mm -hmm. right. You don't know what someone's gonna go. Thing is, like it's just like how in like school elections, or I'm not so sure if you guys your guys have school elections. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's like where oh I'll vote for Jennifer even though like and then go she behind be the best. yeah and then you go ahead and fill out the ballot and you see them filling out like I don't know. What's a fun name? Uh, Billy. Billy. You know, it, it, oh, it's Billy. Okay, the school elections are all popularity games. It's popularity that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, popularity contests. And so, but I also feel like that gives the young people like the wrong idea of what voting is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I agree. Like in the last election that just happened, there was obviously like Hillary and Trump, and like the big that those were the all in the debates or mm -hmm. whatever they're called. Um, and so. It was like so many people only knew those two. Right. And there were so many other choices. Yes. And so I feel like the school elections just like give people the wrong idea of what an election is. That's but not what Speaking on that is. topic, like some people didn't to know of right. the other candidates. And mm -hmm. that brings in like it's kind of just a big money game. Wow. Yes. The, like the the most dominant political parties are the Democrats and the Republicans yeah. because they there's have also, the most funds. Yeah. There's also like Green and Independent. There's other people running. Green. Yes. The Green, the Green party. party. I've never heard of that. Exactly. Like, literally never heard of it. Exactly. Yeah. And I, 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 I don't I, know much about it. I like to consider myself pretty educated. I've Ooh. never. I. They had true. a candidate and they got like three percent of the voters. Right. Like, because they're just overpowered yeah. by the yeah. more dominant parties. Whoa. And then I love to also just like complete side trail. But the electoral college. Oh, I'm gonna burn. The electoral college is, oh, well, we in my case. personal opinion, mm -hmm. we outdated. Can, we can do without. It's outdated. It's no longer an issue because I understand why they have it though. Yeah. In all honesty, it's like, like I, I understand why they have it, but in my personal There's opinion, I think we should abolish it because um. What are you oh, doing here? So the the thing is, it's like Look at my people don't think their vote counts, and so that's why a lot of people don't vote. And so yeah. an issue with that is like it's because your vote only counts for your state. So if your state is like the opposite party majority of what you are, then it's not going to count for much. And it's like the individual votes, Hillary won, but the electoral college, Trump won, and so it's just it's like. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's taking the like the impact out of the human voice. But yeah, along with that topic that. is that even if your state is like Texas, a notoriously red state, Republican state. I like that word, notorious. 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 Um, they had two. Um, which election was it? Was it uh, with Beto and um, Cruz? What is? I can't remember the name of the what that's actually called. Um, primaries? No. But. Um, Anyways, Beto and Cruz, Beto a uh, Democrat and Cruz a, a Republican, um, Beto got very close to winning. And that was like a big, like, what's going on? Because that's a, in Texas, very Republican and is known to. But it's, that proves that this is possible. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't some, like, well, whatever. I mean, I just I live here. What can I do? Ooh, it should know. be individual, not state, because you know you're an individual person. You express. Yes. You should have your beliefs expressed, not you know a majority expressed. And I believe that would really encourage people to vote because yeah. it would feel like their vote really can have an impact. Yeah, so the vote yeah. will matter. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really the root of the problem with voting right now is people just don't feel like they're going to make an impact with yeah. their vote, and that needs to change because it really is up to us to determine like the politics like we are a democratic country mm -hmm. it's based off the people it should be democracy. but if people don't want to vote you can't really have a democracy but to bring it a little bit back to like how women like when we first you know mm -hmm. fought for suffrage and like that kind of stuff i just actually wrote uh, a research paper about rose the riveter which is a little bit different time frames however um so rose the riveter uh, the time frame that I did was from 1942 to 1944. Mm -hmm. um, Rosemary was a character, an emblem of a propaganda poster campaign in uh, World War II, so mm -hmm. during World War II. And it was all about, they honestly, in the war, they just need more people to work, not like as soldiers, but they did need that, but they wouldn't, weren't really willing yet for women to do that. They more needed people in like the production factories for things like, you know, riveting, which is why Rose the Riveter. Um, yeah. um, 
the thing about that is I have always looked at her, it's the We Can Do It poster, if you, by Howard Miller. Yeah, she's like, so there's the famous We Can Do It poster by Howard Miller, um, where she's like, you know, this with the blue bandana and the red lipstick. Thing is, that actually didn't become popular until after World War II, fun oh, fact. Yeah. That wasn't, nor, um, it was actually Norman Rockwell who wrote, or who didn't, he made the first picture of Rosie the Riveter. Um, and it was actually Reed Evans and John Jacob Lee who wrote the first, the song. So the song came first. Oh, fun fact. I didn't know that. There's, there's a song. It's really sexist, horrifically sexist. Um, so that's the thing where it's like Rose. I've always seen Rose the Riveter as a feminist icon for not only. Yeah. Because um, yeah, it's like we as women can do it. Like let's yeah. go. And if you look anywhere, you will always see the we can do it or like whatever for any feminist movement yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. And so like that was all, you know in suffrage and like that kind of stuff. But the thing is, like, if you, it's looking behind anything, with, if it has to do with politics, whether it's, you know, propaganda is a big thing in politics, mm -hmm. but in, like, because I just wrote so this paper, huge. it's super, super relevant to me. Just because there's something may look really appealing and really, like, awesome, doesn't mean that it has, like, great background, because I always, so, Rosalie Riveter, it, in the war, uh, women's, where like their employment uh, for women in industrial like jobs rose 460 percent which sounds sick as hell or you know so but the thing is were those women treated well no they're extremely underpaid which by the way still exists still a problem. you know what women make 79 cents to a man's dollar still look it up that's a statistic prove me wrong you know it, <laughs> It's, and I know so many people argue with the wage gap. I've gotten yelled at in hallways. I've gotten screamed at before. I've gotten attacked online. And I, because I say the wage gap does exist. But the thing is, it's in the statistics, it's in the numbers. And you are free to disagree with me. That's fine. Do what you want. I'm just saying it's in the numbers. Mm -hmm. So, and that's a little bit of an off track between politics. But I think like a lot of times with politics, it all, not only is bipartisan, but it becomes with genders. It becomes... And it just is exactly. everything is so separated. Right. Well, politics has gone its way into everything. Yes. No matter what the topic is, I think you can always find a way to loop politics yeah. into yeah. it. Exactly. And especially, like, being 16, I feel like I have to be involved in politics. Like, 20 yeah. years ago, I feel like high schoolers were not as involved in politics as we are today. I feel yeah, like right. I have to be, because if a conversation comes up about the wall, or about the Trump administration, or about Hillary and the emails and all that fun stuff. It's like, if I, I feel like if I'm not at least educated about it, I feel yeah. ignorant. And I feel like, exactly. you know, the, the small child they're and that's trying what, to picture me to be. And that's what makes people believe that young people can't vote. Yeah. It's because they think that we don't know anything. They think we don't know, they think we don't care. But yeah. it's like, actually... Yeah. We're more aware, I feel like, than a lot of older generations of those clickbait kind of titles of like, yep. oh, well, blank politician did this, when we know that they're just right. kind of twisting mm -hmm. the words. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, I may not personally support Trump, but the media does portray him pretty bad. Yeah. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying... But it also depends on which outlet you use, because like, yeah. MSN mm -hmm. versus CNN versus MSNBC. Versus like, Fox. Fox. Versus Fox, <laughs> yeah. They all... They, you know, there's, all like, very there's Democratic outlets, and there's middle ground outlets, and there's Republican outlets, and so it really depends, because, like, it's all the same information, it's just being interpreted very differently. So many biases, yeah. yeah. And so, so it's so important to, like, yeah. check many resources yeah. and really and, like, gather the like, facts so you can personal, formulate your own opinion. Yeah, I've had, like, personal biases on, like, the wall, like, I've had conversations about it, and, like, people have been saying that it'll stop <clears throat> trade, stop immigration, obviously, which is... Mm -hmm. Part of the reason why I was being built. Illegal immigration. Yeah, yeah. And it'll, yeah. And then I see the side of like, the Berlin Wall didn't work, so why do we think this one will? Yeah. Like, there will be ways to get around it and still get here and still. People, people do have. So, why would we yeah. spend billions of dollars that right. we don't have, by the way, <laughs> on something? As a PS, we're in debt. <laughs> yeah. A lot of debt. But, like, why would you spend so much money on something? When in reality, the outcome of it might not be as yeah good for as, as, in, as yeah. it went home. Nothing will ever yeah. be a perfect solution to anything. Yeah, ever. There, ever. there are always going to be people, especially in like you know the gun, like the mm -hmm. the gun debate. It's like mm -hmm. you know, 
as terrible as it sounds, like if someone wants to cross the border, they're gonna cross the border. If someone yeah. wants to hurt, inflict harm on another person, they're yeah. gonna find a way to do it. gonna stop them. It's going yeah. to happen. Like, but there are precautions we can take. Yeah. Which is, which is part of the reason I don't want to say that I support the wall being built, but it's why I am not. So like I don't inflict my thoughts on other people like yeah. the wall's so bad because it's I see both sides because yeah. I know both Absolutely. sides of it. And right. that's one of the best parts of debates because you have yeah. to I really despise like going into debates with people that I know are close minded and they're not sucks. they're not gonna be willing to hear my opinion and I'm like, Hey, so I listened to what you had to say. Mm -hmm. Here's what I have now to say. And like what are the pros and what are the cons of both sides? Yeah. Right? And it's okay to disagree. Yeah. But it's you have to disagree respectfully. Yeah. You know, I found it's because I'm loud, I'm a woman, and I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And so the thing is, I a lot of times my opinion has just been disregarded so many times oh, yeah. because mm -hmm. I may oh, see yeah. people will call me like, uh, I've been called a feminazi. Oh, yeah. You which liberal is white snowflake. Yeah, it's like, okay. Oh, the thing is, I. Oh, no. I've been. Honestly. Okay. I am, a, I am a loud personality. I am proud of female. I'm a proud feminist. I will talk and speak my mind. And just because, like, you're going to be over there, like, screaming at me, and it's not going to make, it might make me feel bad because I'm human. Woo! Shock! Oh my gosh! But, what? People with human decency and respect? We don't know that. We don't know. <laughs> but the thing is, and then also, just to track back a little bit, people lie. Yeah. Right? I lie. Whether it's gonna be a white lie thing, whether it's gonna be like when my parents check my, uh, they have a monitoring app that and the parents are watching have. this. Oh. They no okay oh, <laughs> it's fine. They probably know. Um, it's a tracking app and it, it shows where I am, but it also shows the speed I'm going. I drive. Oh, <laughs> oh this so, is okay. But here's the thing. I was and like, driving. And I'm a really bad driver. I am not. I drove you. I didn't even have got us into a car. I did not. I we don't yeah, have dual risk. We don't have tea, but I'm just gonna go. Pinky's up. Okay. I'm a great driver. I've not gotten into a single accident. I've not gotten a single ticket. But she's knock sees. on wood. She... Anyways. No, so our knock on wood. She <laughs> thinks yield signs are a suggestion. Okay, first of all, we're gonna. Anyways, all checks. So, this. basically, what <laughs> has happened is. Um, I was going, it was a 70 road, uh, 70 miles per hour, and I was going 85. Um, because, hear me out, it was like you, in traffic, you follow the speed. You follow the speed of the car in front of you. Yes, I, okay. yeah, I got you. Alright, yeah, so my dad you. then messages me, um, Anna uh, sends me a screenshot, what's that? And I'm like, um, I was passing a semi truck. That's a perfect excuse. Use it. Anyways, don't use it. <laughs> Don't try to save. Uh, try yeah, follow save. the rules of the road. Check in yeah, on Blue Forge, uh, their traffic safety uh, series. Go ahead and yes. yeah, just yep. check. Absolutely. After you're done watching this video. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you know, things like that. People lie. I lie. All these people yeah. lie. You're not angels, okay? But, so, and a, a part of political, political and a political environment. There's a limit to what you should be able yeah. to When you about. argue, when you debate, and when you, if you've ever had a debate like lesson or course or unit, you've been taught this from the start, you can take quotes and you can, you know, do ellipses so you make it sound better. Oh, yeah. Meaning like if it says, oh, a polar bear is uh, going extinct, but it's very cute, you can say a polar bear is dot 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 very cute. Things like that can out. happen. And so, well, is it a lie? Not. Really? But is it? It's not a Is it morally? <laughs> yeah, no. Morals. Morals. And the thing is, I saw a post the other day that um, there has been a counter on um, our president's current lie count, and it just passed 2,000. But that's cute. Uh, so Are they all can. What do you consider a lie? Though? That's the thing. That's, I, the, and, that's the question. And you what can't you trust. I'm not, you know, and you can't trust all media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just facts. And it's like I, I have some sources. The fake news epidemic. That was a thing. And yeah. the thing is, people on the right wing, especially, really emphasize on that. But I typically am left wing, and I still think that is a very big problem. And I don't. And think we it's cannot fair. agree. Everyone can agree 
middle ground. Like the thing is, I know, like like I said earlier, I acknowledge that Trump has been got has got a lot of bad media, and not all of it is true, and some of it is kind of very ridiculous and obviously mm -hmm. overstated and just dramatic. But some of it but, is also true. But then yeah. again, it goes also back to interpretation. It's kind of like yeah. You know right. which stance are you taking on it? Because you can totally shift a fact just to like mm -hmm. yeah. Perspective exactly. is. I feel like perspective is the most important thing. If you can and convince so someone, yeah. My question is like, how many things um, do I not hear about that Trump says? Mm -hmm. like how many things yeah. do I not know? Yeah. Because my parents, my parents talk about it all the time. I literally sit down with my dad after like. Uh, addresses and he's like, okay, so we're gonna watch CNN and then we're gonna watch MSN and we're gonna compare or Fox or whichever Take one. Notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it's just like I was gonna say something. It's a good learning opportunity. It's definitely. It's, I was gonna. I was one hundred percent. There's a website right. actually called Opposing Viewpoints. Um, oh. Opposing Viewpoints I is something it. that I definitely use when researching politicians mm -hmm. um, because it's not bias. It just it's, it's well fact. in my in my research that I've done on that website. I have concluded my in my personal opinion. Oh, A lot of times wrong. with bias, it's kind of personal whether you think yeah. it's one way or not. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. how it works. But I know before I, I had someone once ask me if I preferred um, Elizabeth Warren or Kamala Harris. And I had to do research because I, and I realized, oh my god, I'm actually voting in this next election. I'm 17. I'm voting in 2020 election. I need to understand, like, I advocate for this and I don't know exactly all these policies. That's not okay. You know, that's hypocritical. But right. in, in a debate, if someone asks you a question, I feel like it's totally forgotten that it is okay Say, to, to be like, I don't know. I don't know enough about this topic to have a political stance on it. Right. Let me do some research and get back to you. I yeah, like but, but admit totally to it. Like, admit yeah. that you yeah. don't know. Don't make up like, like I, I definitely am not as involved as I could be in politics, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to lay that out there. Like, I don't right. do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. I do pretty much just know what I hear from social media, and that is And that's a truth. huge outlet today, especially in Look Out for a Technology episode. But I remember what I was going to go back to, like with Trump, my parents, my parents aren't necessarily Republican or Democrat, they're, they're very middle ground and they see both sides, mm -hmm. and so, they, they, like, after listening to addresses and stuff, they tell me and they're like, you can 100% hear, like, when something was written for him and when he speaks it himself, yeah. and I think that's, a, it's just very eye-opening to be like, you know, I'm, I'm 14 through 18 years old when Trump is president, and so that's kind of scary for me, hearing yeah. him say things like, grab him by the pussy, it's like, yeah. Yeah. wow, okay. the leader of a nation, I feel like you need to understand the responsibility of being the leader of a yeah. nation, there is so much responsibility in that, you are looked upon but by again, other global... How much of the things do you see are just exactly put in a bad way, exactly, yeah. We don't like I, at least I personally don't know how much good, because I don't yeah. do research on that side of things. Yeah. And if you're all only you getting hear about all that people want to hear is the bad. Yeah. Right. And yeah. if you're getting and it so from a media outlet that's mainly democratic, yeah. you're only getting negative things about him. And I yeah. and I want to put in perspective too. I have never said anything like that that Trump has said, but I also I am a vulgar per, a vulgar person. I I cuss I you know and so the thing is and I don't. Would, I would not want to go into the political field because that's just not what I personally think that I invest for. But imagine if you were in the position of something that you said 15 years ago, not. I think yeah. that, but I that's think so that Trump, intense. like the, the, the things that, the connotations he would put under are more recent and I, and I don't, and I think that's still applicable to him today, but that's a different real mm -hmm. topic. But I just want the viewers to think about something really quick. I want, I want you to think, if you were in this position, I we have all said some horrible stuff. Yeah. I, I can yeah. guarantee yeah. you, you've all had moments you regret. What oh, should you be oh, held? Yeah. What should you be held accountable for versus what? Because like I mean, there is a certain ignorance and naivete that comes with being young. Mm -hmm. It's like at what point should you be held accountable for the things you say? It's you like you draw the line. Yeah, it's like the same thing in the. It's kind of off topic, but like the rape cases that are coming up, yeah. and like women and men are coming forward and being like, "Hey, this happened X number of years ago." It's like. Uh, you know, it's like, what do we hold accountable? How do we, how do we manage that yeah, as a right. society? It's like, you're, you should not touch a person if they don't want to be touched. That's yeah, just a fact. Right. 
but it's like, you know, can a, it's so complicated. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Can, can a person they, change? Do they understand what they did was wrong? Yeah. Why didn't they? There's so many factors that go into it. What I say is a personality can change, change a person can't. So your personality, and that sounds a little bit odd, but your personality for me is based upon how you react to something, how you do something. A person is your innermost morals. I cannot say as a kid I would ever try to murder someone. I also now would not try to murder someone. You know, those kind of... Yeah, <laughs> one would hope. <laughs> Spoiler, now I know. Um, but those kind of morals shouldn't change and probably don't. You know, but and they could. They could, and that's valid. That yeah. is valid. I mean, I don't... It's hard because I also obviously am not a man, so I may not know how boys may think about a certain, like, if they might see a woman and just are curious, I don't, I don't know and what goes on. And it's a perspective thing again, yeah. right? Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm heavily biased that clearly because I, you know, I have male friends, and I have friends like that. But like the thing is, you don't. No one's gonna tell you what their inner workings, their mind is. There's no way I turn to Jamie and be like, "Here's what I think about at night." You know, it's not like <laughs> that. Oh, that sounds bad. Um, but like, well, I guess that's kind of what we're doing, T. But. Uh, in in idea with that kind of thing, you know, politics is unpredictable. You are unpredictable. Unpredictable. Everything changes. Yeah. So I think it's really on all any of these topics that we've talked about. It's always just the open mindedness. Oh, yes. It. Everyone needs so to because be willing to listen. Everyone is so set in their ways, especially yeah. if they're on a specific side. Yeah. Like they won't. And it's it's pitting but, the country against each other. Yeah. Right. And we're so supposed to be united. Like, we're the so, United States of America. And yeah. We're all just let's let's have no wait. Yeah. Well, let, let's have the Republicans be the flower. Let's have the wait wait wait. Let's have the almond milk be the Democrats. Okay. Let's have the powdered egg for the vegans be the Independents. Let's have the whisk be the Green Party. Sure. Green? Yeah, I think we're forgetting some people, but they're in there somewhere. Okay, <laughs> and we may you that. Can't think we may eat it later, but that's also not a good analogy to use. <laughs> Step back from that. Let's be united. We're the, you know, we're we're the United, United States, States of America. Be united. Yeah. Learn. Grow. Okay. <laughs> Open up your mind. Get to know new things. Yeah. And I'm gonna go home and research. See if yeah. I can find some good yeah. things about Trump. That's yeah. what I'm. That's Comment what I'm below. Doing. Tell us. I mean, what did you find? There's yes. always good things about a person, and there's bad things about a person. It's what you choose to focus on, and what is predominant. So like, yeah. Help yeah. educate us. We'll help express yeah. our opinions. You know, it's a give and take. 